All right, so we actually did a shrine normally for once, and it cost us a fairy. Uh, there's that just kind of chilling over that away. But for now, I might want to go to that tower over there, which is what's currently marked on the map. Any shrines on the way? Doesn't really look like. Hmm. Is that a stable over here? I guess I could go to the stable to, like, take out my horse and then actually take the horse across instead of bomb launching. You know what? Sure, I'll do it. I'll do it. We're at, we'll actually have, like, a brief phase of playing the game normally for once, which is, you know, very, very odd for me. I mean, I did recently learn a new trick that I've never used in this playthrough before that can give me as much height as I need whenever I need. So, like, it takes a little bit of setup time, which is why I didn't do it earlier in this. So, we've done things pretty normally so far. Once we get to that tower, I could just use that new trick that I learned. Is this guy still glitched out over here? No, he's just gone. The infinite jump glitch? Basically, yeah. <laughs> I recently learned about that and I was like, oh, that's certainly interesting. Yeah. Good old moon jump. So I might potentially use that to get to the top of the tower just so that we <laughs> keep on our wacky freaking things. So yeah, we might potentially be doing that today. Ooh. Maybe, maybe. Oh. So it's very interesting. I tried it once in my other file just in testing to make sure that what is this weird Joy-Con drift? Okay, no. I'm not even using Joy-Cons, but uh, excuse me. So geez, I'm pressing L down to pull up the map because I'm so used to Xenoblade Chronicles. So, yeah, we'll go to that tower all the way over yonder way. So, it's going to take a little while. I hate the horses of this game so much. They're kind of awful. Case in point. Can't believe I never mentioned that in my Breath of the Wild was not a masterpiece three-hour discussion. My, oh, my. Hoil. Oh, there's some guardian bot things. So, yeah, we're, it looks like we're going to have to go, like, way around for this. I might even save from time to time. But yes, so we might potentially have a new spicy way to get to the top of like whatever I need to get to the top of. It just takes like a stupid amount of setup time. My brother performed the infinite jump glitch yesterday as he's currently playing through the game himself. I've tried it briefly. It seems like it's really easy to like jank yourself over with it as well. It takes a little bit of setup time. And that's easy to like lock yourself into an animation and just be like floating across the world. So we can see what comes of it if I do wind up doing that. We shall see. So that tower's done. There's Fometo chilling, chilling over there. I mean, we could always go do story stuff and, like, actually get one of the champion abilities, like... Like Revali's Gale. That could definitely help me out a whole lot, but, uh... Whatever, I guess. Those guys are chilling over there. Just chilling out and stuff. Hmm. Bit by bit, we'll make it over there. Imagine actually going across the world in a normal way instead of bomb launching myself and constantly failing. It's probably faster anyway, considering I consistently fail my bomb launches. Probably the faster thing anyway. According to my map, me putting markers down way earlier. Apparently, there's a talus like right here. Is that so? Really? Because I at some point semi-recently just kind of put down a whole bunch of markers from like a freaking Breath of the Wild wiki thing. Is this a talus right here? It is! Well, while I'm warning you, I have this rock. Damn you, rock! <laughs> Damn you! Well, time to die, I think. Time to die, I guess. Time to just delete you. Whatever, we just get back up there again. Well, time for some free materials from good old Stone Talus. Thank you. I'll take these, thank you. I will happily take those. Anything else? Oh, a whole bunch of things. Nice, that was worth it. Threatens a rock with a rock, I'm warning you. I've got one of your own. I got Jeff, I turned him over to my side. But yeah, so I took some time, like, marking a whole bunch of stuff on the map like that, just according to, like, this Breath of the Wild wiki map thing. 
And now I'm kind of glad I did that. I would have had no idea there was a talus there unless I looked on my map and been like, oh, there's one of my freaking talus symbols here. I can go across this bridge with my horse, right? I swear, if I can't cross this bridge with my horse... <laughs> okay, we gotta take it slow. Hey, there's a freaking fire dragon, like Dinral or whatever the heck it is. I think that's what its name is. First time we've seen that one since we haven't been around this area a whole lot. Freaking go fast! Okay, now you want to go fast. Should I get a scale from you if I can? I mean, how far are you? Okay, you're like right here. I'll just save and like try to get a scale from you and then try to find some way to get back up here. I mean, I could probably shoot from here, right? Really? Also, take a photo. Yeah, Dinral. Sure. I really can't hit this guy. Holy crap. Freaking get him. Oh my goodness, I'm so bad. Holy crap! Oh my goodness. There's no way that misses. Where's your scale going, huh? Dang it, bottom of the canyon. How am I gonna get to the top now? Well, actually, I think we already might have discussed the answer earlier in this, in this little session. We might have already discussed that. Exactly how to get to the top easily. Is this something I need a picture of? Yoink. Um, how about you guys don't, maybe? Uh-oh. How about you stop that this instant? How about you don't? Stabby, stabby. Okay. Anything I don't have a picture of here? Guess not. Guess not. Yeah, I think we kind of, you know, discussed the answer earlier. Exactly how to get out of this canyon. Look how short it is. I'm sorry. But I really need foodstuffs. Well... I mean, yeah, I think we might have to do a trick that I haven't done in this playthrough yet to uh, get out of here. Oh, mushrooms. Neat. Which means that we might have to leave a opponent behind. Oh, hi. How about you don't? Oh, ah, I don't have a photo of you. And it's kind of blocked, but whatever. What? What do you want? What do you want? Get out of here. I'm busy. I'm doing things. I will take these. I'm going to have to do some cooking soon anyway. Well, how to get out of this canyon, huh? <laughs> this massive ravine. I think we know the answer. I think we know the answer. Time to set it up. <laughs> All right. Oh, I can't press up to like cycle to the bottom. Okay, so we saved. Let's do this. So for some reason, Breath of the Wild has a few different states that it considers Link to be in, and a few different states that kind of saves onto Link. Like, Skew is one of them. Skew is one of those states that it'll just save onto him, and it just stays on until, like, he gets another Skew or, like, Bonks or something like that. And the interesting thing about... about these kinds of states is they will actually carry over between, like, loading screens, between fast traveling, and even between save files and switching between normal and master mode. Meaning you can, in theory, set a skew in normal mode and then switch over to your master mode save file and have exactly the skew that you need. And it's the same kind of deal with this infinite jump thing. So to do this, essentially, hold on, let's go over here. You can essentially get Link into this glitch state, which is... A very, very interesting glitch state, by the way. In another file, such as normal mode right here, and then switch over to master mode, and he'll still have that state active. I haven't tried it before with like switching between modes, so this will be a this will be a first for me. But we've literally switched save files here purely to get a setup for for my master mode file. So 
you know. You know, there's that. Let's see how it goes. Let's go ahead and take a horse. I would like to take out... No. No, 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 no. Freaking... I don't even know what that is. Probably from when, like, a friend was playing or something like that. If I had to guess. Back when the Switch first came out. Alright, thank you. Yeah, yeah, freaking... Alright, let's go. And then now, map button is this one. We need to go down this path and just go straight. Whoops, I don't know how this game works anymore. Is the thing. But yeah, seeing it go across fouls will be a first for you as well. I've heard that apparently that's the way that it is. Is it just saves this weird glitch state for Link across files. I've never done it before. But I've heard that apparently that's the way that it is. And apparently it's the same way for like setting skew for when you want to clip through walls. So in theory, if I wanted to set any skew, I could literally just save with this file in that one shrine that has like all those nice slopes for good skew in any direction and then switch over to master mode. The reason I've never done it before is because it's a little bit tedious switching, switching files. But, for the case of this glitch, since you need to go to a very specific part of the world, and I want to get out of that specific ravine, I think this is a case where it's probably more convenient to actually do it within this other save file, rather than doing the setup in that file, and then going back to the ravine that I will have gotten out of by that time anyway. So, essentially, there's this minigame that's over here. Hello! I've never actually done this minigame for real. Slow down, please. <laughs> I've never actually done this minigame for real. But apparently it's a horse archery minigame. So let's talk to... The other guy, please. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, man, are you looking to drill? Sure, I'm game. Can't drill without a bow and arrows. I think that's just common sense. If you need someone to sell you a few of mine. Now, nah, I'm... I'm... Okay. Do yourself. We'll see how well you and your horse act as a team on the field. Now, I'm loath to ask, but would you mind forking over 20 rupees to cover some of my costs? Go right ahead. Much obliged, young man. I guarantee my drills are worth twice what you pay. Alright then, come here, young man. So, this is supposed to be a mini game that I'll probably do for real at some point. I'm taking out a whole bunch of targets while on horseback. Um, I don't need a refresher, don't worry. So... Typically, you're supposed to stay on your own horse, and the moment you get off your own horse, like that one minute timer will just end. The targets are over that way, but we're not going that way. <laughs> we're gonna go this way, is what we'll do instead. And we are going to go up this hill. Because this glitch involves being on a horse that isn't your own, who's trying to buck you off at the time that this challenge ends. And conveniently enough, there's some additional horses right here. So as long as I don't jump off a Pona and like land on the ground, in a weird way like I have in practice setting this up in the past. So we need to wait until it's getting close to the time being out because we need the time to run out exactly when some other horse is trying to buck us off so we won't even try to soothe it or anything like that. I'm gonna need to glide onto it which in practice before might take a couple of attempts. I opened my glider way too low. I swear I'm mashing X. And the glider doesn't open until, like, way too late sometimes. Uh. Sometimes I hate Breath of the Wild. Sometimes I really do. Sure, I'm game. Let's go. Let's do it again. Set up the targets, yada yada. Go do it. Go do the thing, Bob. Let's begin drilling again. Yeah, I try my best to open my glider as soon as I can. And sometimes it just doesn't. <laughs> And then Link only opens it like super low to the ground and by then, like, I'm too low to the ground anyway and I can't even get on a, get on a horse. Slow down. Slow down, please. Like, this should be good, right? Hopefully. Should be a good spot. Oh, I forgot you can hold X and then jump off and then you get like extra height. That's something that took me like forever to figure out. I think I figured that out while I was like experimenting with this like a week ago or something like that. I forgot that this is a thing, so I'm holding X right now and he's like ready to jump. I think that's the key. <laughs> Whoops! If only I had remembered that before. Yeah, there's some extra height I guess should be enough. Hi. Can I get on you? Whoa! Are you kidding me? This game's actually so dumb sometimes. This game is actually the worst sometimes. Yeah, I know I hit zero. 
Hey, you okay? <laughs> well, sometimes it's like you're about to land on the horse perfectly and the game's just like, <laughs> how about no? How about you don't actually do that? Well, yeah, that horse really did not want to be mounted, I guess. Really did not. Foil, third try is the charm. Third try is the charm, you know? So, I mean, this time I will be sure to hold X to get ready to jump. Please don't go up the hill. What, you're done? You're done laying there? Whoops, don't go back. You're gonna lay on the ground now? Hey, silly doggy, you're just gonna, gonna, gonna chill on the floor over there now? I can move the doggy camera in a hot second. That's what we could do. All right, I'll, I'll get ready to jump, I suppose. Well, should be enough height, I hope. Come on, land on it this time. There we go. There we go, jeez. Oh, I might have done it a little bit early. I have enough stamina that it shouldn't matter anyway, though. Right? Oh, it's gonna be close. Oh, that was close. I should have waited a little bit longer. Oh, my. I could potentially move Doggy Cam. Is what I could do to, like, there. Or something like that. And then you can see, like, the back of my hair, I guess. I can move it this way. <laughs> hey, silly doggy. Oh. Oh. I was looking away from the screen for a moment. Hmm, you only hit zero. Nothing to write home about. I want to shoot from a trot some more before you jump straight into firing at a gallop. Well, you want to drill some more? I'll have you know, I am- I might turn this off for like thumbnail reasons. I'll have you know, I'm in a hurry. Don't be a stranger, young man. I'll be waiting here for you. Come wind or storm. I've got a planet to get to. Yes, this seems about right. Oh. You and your horse are something else. Promise me you won't get careless. Well, I've got a planet to get to, so I mean, uh, everything is fine. This is fine. Oh my goodness. Well, look at the world. Isn't it great? This is fine. <laughs> yes, everything is as it should be. Everything is right in the world right now. Yes. Well, I mean... Oh. Well. Where are we gliding to? <laughs> it's a feature. It's a feature that we're doing this right now. Well, I mean... <laughs> the horse is just soaring through the air. Well, I have no idea where Link's even going to anymore. <laughs> what happens if I run out of stamina anyway? Does the horse buck me off or something? Uh, we're rapidly gaining altitude. Oh, it's getting cold up here. Because we gained so much height. Is it not going to start slowly killing me? It should momentarily. Oh yeah, there it is. I mean, I can put on, say, that to stay warm. Uh, we're rapidly going to space. So, I mean, uh, oh. <laughs> Bombs away from glitchy skies? Oh, it just despawns. We're getting so high up. Oh, we're just straight up despawns. We're getting so high. <laughs> well, let's see what happens when we run out of stamina because I'm actually kind of curious. I'm honestly a little bit curious about this. Well, uh, let's have our answer. Nothing. Nothing happens. Well, now if we travel somewhere else, Goodbye, glitched horse. I mean, oh dang, I guess I turned that off a little bit late if I want to use it as a thumbnail. Jeez. <laughs> Paw over the ears kind of night is what it is. Just one of those kinds of nights. One of those paw over the ears kind of nights. Well. Now. 
That horse, yes, that horse definitely has seen things. That's for sure. Well, now... Now we have this state, so I mean... You know. This is how you cut grass in 2020. It really is lawnmower link. It really is. Oh, I could grab some like bugs along the way. <laughs> Not like it matters. I never use this file. Not anymore. <laughs> We're just making a path ahead of us. Go. Look how determined he is. He's like, yes, I will cut all this grass in like a straight line. This was his real destiny. Look, we're kind of going towards a map objective to, like, save Zelda or whatever the heck that map objective is. So, I mean, we're kind of on the right track here. Uh. I'm busy. Leave me alone. I'm busy. I'm doing things. Nice miss. Excuse me, I'm doing things right now. I'm kind of busy. Oh, ow. Well, now if you'll excuse me, I've got uh, places to be, so, you know, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. I'm out of here. How about you go away? Anyway, I don't think I need to save. I should just be able to carry over this state into the other other file now i hope man she must be really tired <laughs> really tired doggy i don't think i need to save i think if i switch to master mode from my normal mode file we should just be able to uh now escape the canyon after that insane setup time <laughs> So, it's the kind of trick that I'm probably not going to do very often, considering it does take insane setup time. But, like, it can be... There it is! Well, we have an objective to get to, so, you know. Up we go. Time for the space elevator! Yeah, climb out of the canyon, that's how you do it. Let's go! <laughs> Up we go! Would it be faster to actually, like, climb for part of it? I wonder. Will I not get the opportunity to? Okay, there we go. But if I let go... Like, we can just regain our stamina, so, like... This is probably the fastest way to get out of here, if I had to guess. We can just keep letting go from time to time. So, I mean... Oh, I'll grab these. Thank you very much. No, rain! I can't climb during rain? Good thing I don't need to. Good thing I actually don't need to. <laughs> I don't have any metal stuff, do I? Oh, crap, I do. Master Sword is considered metal, huh? I guess I have guardian things to not be metal. All my bows are metal, so no bows for right now. I almost selected drop for a hot second. I forgot what my buttons were for a hot second. <laughs> Up we go! <laughs> Alright, let's slowly make it towards our objective over there. <laughs> do what we do. Slowly but surely, we're making it out of this canyon, and we'll make it to that tower. <laughs> using good old moon jump. So, I mean, there it is. Oh, dang it. I freaking slowed myself down. This glitch is weird. Sometimes it slows you like that. To fix it, you need to hold something and then put it away, and then your speed's back. If you hit a wall while you're doing it, it just slows you down to, like, walking speed, and I don't know why. Hold on. Let's see here. Hold on. How do I do the thing? There we go. Now, let's go. And this is, like, 30% faster than running or something, so... I will happily take it. Let's go. Let's just glide across the ground real quick. Shrine nearby? Where? Where could the shrine be? I wonder if I can use this to, like, cheese over shrines. Like, I've been using Fosbury flopping and stuff like that so far. 
Hmm. Shrine nearby. Hmm, because I could probably cheese over shrines while I'm in this glitch state. The only two ways to remove this glitch state. Whoops. <laughs> the only two ways to remove this glitch state are to mount something like your horse or. Oh, crap. <laughs> Damn it. I messed it up. Dang it. Dang it! If you get yourself locked like that, then you're just kind of screwed. <laughs> Whoops. I forgot I need to do, like, the fall damage cancel method of, like, throwing a weapon and, like, changing away. Whoops. I forgot. <laughs> Bear with me here. Bear with me here real quick. But yeah, apparently the only ways to get out of the glitch state are mounting a horse or closing the game. And if you get stuck like that, then... Oh dang, I put myself into walking state again. Well, there's a shrine over there that we can kind of do on the way. <laughs> so, I mean... Let's go. Let's go! How about... Here's some treasure chests, but I don't really care, I don't think. Well, away we go. Can we potentially cheese over some shrine like this? I probably won't be able to do, like, wall clipping while I have this glitch state active. Considering it relies on my regular kind of jumping methods. <laughs> which I might not be able to do while I'm in this state. So, I don't want to keep the state for too long, but I mean... Sometime, at least. Hi! Bye! Bye! Have a good time! Well, away we go. Shrine nearby. Yeah, I see it over here. I see the thing. Yeah, so gliding across the ground definitely does mean extra speed. Well, as long as I can remember how to remove myself from, like, glider mode, at least. As long as I can remember how to do that properly, or else I'm gonna lock myself like I did on that mountainside. Which you kind of don't want to do, because then you gotta fast travel away to... <laughs> unstick yourself so the towers over there so we'll go there next I suppose let's see here I'm pretty sure it's weapon throwing right but like I can't throw a weapon right now what dang I'm in walking state again I should be able to put on the master sword and regular stuff again though should be able to since the rain's gone. Dang, I'm in a walking state again. Ugh, I need to pick something up. Whoa. Yeah, this is a very strange glitched state. What? That didn't even fix it. There we go. Jeez. There we go. Well, just in case for thumbnail reasons. Just in case. Get me in there. Yeah, I don't know how effective my regular wall clipping stuff will be while I'm in this glitch state, considering, you know, it, <laughs> my wall clipping relies on me being able to do, like, regular shield surfs and such, which I'm not sure if I'll be able to do while I'm like this. What is this? Drawing parabolas, huh? I mean, <laughs> thanks for the spirit orb. <laughs> thanks for the spirit orb. I appreciate it. <laughs> I probably would have tried doing like an extended shield clip through there if I didn't have this glitch state active. Yeah, 10 out of 10 shrine right there. Like, I'm not going to have this glitch state forever because it means that I won't be able to cut through walls and stuff like that and other things I like to normally do. But it definitely helped me with that shrine, didn't it? Alright, so that was probably one of the fastest times I've ever done a shrine in because that was literally insane. Well... Can I not? Okay, I do have the Master Sword out. Hold on, let's go into glider mode. Oh, there's a stables over here. Hold on, I need to get some height. There we go, go into glider mode. You need a little bit of height to go into glider mode while you're in this glitch state. Shrine speedruns, basically. Like, I haven't- Oh, 
I haven't actually seen this kind of trick used in shrine speedruns that I've seen before. I don't know if that's because, like... No, it couldn't be because you wouldn't be allowed to set up outside the shrine. Because I see people do, like, clips that they got skew from way earlier in shrines. So, I mean... <laughs> Wee! <laughs> it's so dumb. Yeah, so I can mount a horse here if I ever do want to, like, not be in this state anymore. And I'm not going to want to be in this state forever because I don't think I'll be able to clip the way that I normally do and such. But, uh... Well, tower over there? How do we get over there, one may ask? Well... <laughs> the answer is quite simple. We can just basically run there. <laughs> is the thing. We should just be able to basically run straight there. In fact, maybe I can gain a little speed like... Like this. Maybe we can do that. So, uh... Oh, this is a big ravine, isn't it? I wonder what's in there. Is that the place that has, like, a bazillion guardians? Or something? I don't remember. Yeah, I would normally probably not be able to get up this at all. Unless I did, like, really careful whistle sprinting up certain slopes and such. But... Now... Now that I took the time for setup for that one thing, Rebob, it should be pretty easy peasy. Let's see here. What? This isn't a Korok seed, is it? It is. <laughs> it is. I'll take it. You found me. Bye bye. <laughs> well, up we go. Up we go, I suppose. Can I grab the wall, please? <laughs> Are you not going to grab the wall, Link? Oh, you almost did. We were thinking about it for a hot second. Oh, there we go. Yeah, maybe this will have me gain some speed, maybe. Yeah, this would probably be the way that I'd normally climb up. Oh, never mind, I can't whistle sprint right now. Because this weird glitch state where going up against a slope makes running weird. Well, up we go! <laughs> I mean... At this point, you feel rocks are the bane of a quark's existence. They really are. They definitely really are. I mean, I could just kind of set my course straight for the straight for the tower and just kind of get there. Is the thing. We can just kind of go straight there. Man, Link has been not skipping leg day like ever. Like, <laughs> my goodness. Jeez, this is a tall mountain, huh? Oh, is my warm doublet going to be enough for this? Oh, dang, it's not. Because this is still technically early stages of the game. I don't have a whole lot of armor and stuff. Oh, crap. I don't have any cold resistant stuff, do I? Nope. Sure don't. Well, up we go. We're speedrunning this one. I mean, never skipped leg day, but he skipped swimming class. That he did. He skipped every swimming class to make sure he never skipped leg day. Look at him go now. Look where it got him now. <laughs> Look at where never skipping leg day got him. Oh my. Is this the tower that's like surrounded in ice? I remember this one giving me like a lot of trouble in a casual playthrough. Dang it. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Let's make it so I can actually move normally again. Yeah, this glitch state is certainly something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure people came up with, like, different strategies at this shrine for, like, finding some way to melt the ice. But, like, who really needs to melt the ice when you never skipped leg day? <laughs> to the point that you could just do squats on the air. Hey, look, there's a shrine over there. <laughs> I should probably get better cold-resistant gear, shouldn't I? Talk about never skipping leg day. My goodness. Up we go! <laughs> Again, this is a completely legitimate playthrough. Everything I do in this playthrough is tools that the game gave me. So, I mean, yeah, look at that! <laughs> I need some cold resistant stuff at some point, don't I? She could tower activated. I could always go to the Rito area and potentially buy some cold resistant stuff there. Like, it's right over there. Look at that. It's all wintry. I don't know how long I'm going to keep this glitch state until I get rid of it. 
because it can be a little bit of a hassle. Like, it's so cool and so helpful in some situations. It's just like a hassle and get in the way of, like, my clipping and regular gameplay stuff on other hands. So, I mean, I have to be really careful of not locking myself. All right, so now we have this whole corner of the map. That's a lot of mountains. Holy crap. Well, dang it. And you have to worry about, like, not being able to move fast. Like, we could go to the Rito area. That's probably the best course of action, is going there. It's probably best. We can probably cook some stuff there. And... Eh, sure. <laughs> I guess. We can probably cook some things there, and then I can get cold-resistant stuff so that I can actually finally... You know, stick around in areas like this, and then actually do, say... Say, shrines like that, without having to worry about freaking... Whoops. Face that way, please. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go! There's some chests over there. Yeah, once I get some actual proper cold resistant stuff better than the warm doublet, then I'll be able to chill around in the in the cold areas as long as I want without having to worry. There's a shrine underneath this little thing over here, isn't there, if I recall. I could mount you to get rid of this glitch state, but I might hold on to it for a little while longer. I think that there's a shrine under here. I can check quickly. I'm fairly certain. I'm gonna have to burn through a whole lot of food, aren't I? Um, I think that there's one over here. Excuse me, I'm going places. Yeah, there is. Can I glide across the water? I think I, think I can't... Oh, crap! The water's freezing. Also, I think swimming messes with that glitch state as well. I think I should be able to swim up on shore anyway, and then just, like, do that same sw that same, like, sword swing thing and weapon change. Am I gonna be on top of the tower again? I'm here?! Not on top of the tower? Water be like that. Good old freezing water. Well, I mean, I have the glitch state, so I should just be able to rapidly jump and not have to use Cryonis. Deleted my fairies. They should still be in my inventory now. They reloaded that. I'm very surprised it put me at that shrine, though. I do still have my fairies, though, right? Sure don't. Let's sort. There go my fairies. There go my fairies, I guess. Dang it! Put that away, and then I get normal move speed again. <laughs> also, you don't take fall damage in this glitch state. So, I mean, there's that. There is that. Up we go. May as well pull up my glider as soon as I can because, like, increased movement speed from that after all. Okay. I was worried that might be too close to the ground and I might get locked into the freaking thing again. Alright, up we go! Whee! <laughs> Ultra speed. Way faster than whistle sprinting or anything like that. Oh, a chest that I'm not gonna bother to open right now. Okay, so right under this thing over here. Let's go do the shrine despite the fact that I don't have cold resistance stuff right now. Let's go do it. Let's just hop right into it. <laughs> Let's just glide up to it. Okay. Get out of the gliding mode. And then... <laughs> oh! Oh! No, don't dip my feet into there! <laughs> there we go! Look at that! <laughs> Done! Oh man, just in case of thumbnail reasons. My goodness. Yeah, let's do this. It'll restore my health along the way as well. If I need to clip through a wall for this, I'm so screwed. Because I don't think I can wall clip while this state is active. I don't think, at least. I am glad that we made it to the shrine, but will I be able to actually clear it? Oh, it's a freaking freebie one, just for finding it. Oh. Good to know. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, nice. I will happily take that. 
Assert dominance. <laughs> I mean, this is an opportunity to explore shrines like these like never before. Or not. Invisible ceiling looks like. Unfortunate. Well, I locked myself into slowly walking. I guess we're gonna have to hold something when we get out of here again. Actually, maybe I'll do that right now before I... I stop myself completely. Oh, or not. Here, I'll remove by holding something. There we go. Now it should be fixed by the time we get out. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. It's basically, basically this glitch in a nutshell. Well, yeah, I have done well to arrive here, haven't I? By, uh, you know, freaking constantly jumping across the water. <laughs> Doggy just opens her eyes and is like, why are you petting me right now? I'm just trying to sleep. Leave me alone. Okay, well, that was quick. I was hoping there would actually be some puzzle for me to conquer in some way. Let's keep going to the Rito area.